seven laps. Look for the green as they come off the fourth turn. Mike Balzano, the E-175, Bart Hartman on the gas, and the green is out. The winner of this heat will start in the seventh spot in tonight's Penn National 100. Hartman gets the jump on the start. He leads Balzano as second. Johnson is third. Wachter running fourth. Don Gross is fifth. Barry Bragdon sixth. Barry Bragdon in car 77 on the inside, moving by Don Gross up into the top five. Rick Wachter, the 93X, challenging Davey Johnson for that third and final transfer spot. The Hartman Truck Center, 75 of Bart Hartman pulling away. Alzano second, Johnson third, Walker fourth, and it's Bragdon, Gross, Thomas, Tassin, Rayberg, and Adler, and Shelton Brand. Bart Hartman leads by a half a straightaway, turning that last lap at 20.96 seconds. Rick Wachter continues to pressure the one J of Davey Johnson for third. Wachter a whole lot faster than Johnson through the corners. Bart Hartman in the Masters Build chassis with that Grand Prix body style. that lap for Hartman, 20.80. Less than two laps to go, Bart Hartman and leading by a full straightaway. As they spread out around the monster half mile. One more lap to go, one lap remaining. Davey Johnson now a little more room between himself and the fourth place car of Rick Wachter. Out of Zanesville, Ohio, the checkered flag is waving for Bart Hartman in the 75-year winner. Balzano in the E1 second, the 1J of Davey Johnson third. Wachter fourth, Bragdon is fifth. Thomas sixth, then Gross, Tassin, Raybergen, Adler, and Shelton Brand. Ten laps, top three cars move in to the Penn National 100. Eisler and Frank, your front row, the 1C, the Concord Automotive, the Budweiser 1C, and the Wood Memories, Corey Laser Technology, star one of Chubb Frank, outside of row one. Here they come, look out, Steve Baker jumps the gun in car 84, there'll be no green this time. Steve Baker in car 84, jumping the gun. Up Frank, red hot last weekend with the Max Series. Here they come into the fourth turn again. On the gas and the green is out. Watch this battle down the front straightaway. Todd Andrews way down low in the 42 car. Chubb Frank leads the battle for second. Lynn Geisler, Todd Andrews, Doug Dodd and Steve Baker going at it. Look at Andrews way down low. 
Andrews moving to second. Chubb Frank leads. Andrews hooked up on the inside of the racetrack, trying to take the lead into turn one. In one and two. On the outside comes Chubb Frank. Down low, it's Todd Andrews into three. Geisler runs third. Rich Curry into three and Doug Dodd into 12, battling for fourth as Todd Andrews takes the lead for good. And the Dirt Late Model Magazine sponsored number 42. Geisler now starting to put the pressure on Chubb Frank for second. Doug Dodd is fourth, Rich Curry fifth, Baker is back to sixth in car 84. Minnick runs seventh. Geisler trying to show his nose underneath the star one of Chubb Frank as they run down the back straightaway. The Cochran Automotive Budweiser 1C into the runner-up slot, dropping Frank to third. Chubb now looks underneath Geisler and four, but can't make it stick. Four laps are down, six to go. the clock on Todd Andrews at the halfway point, five laps to go. Andrews started in the fifth spot. He was quick right off the bat. 103 for Todd, so he's not, not not as fast as Bart Hartman was in the last heat. also, as we said, a scratch for the night was scheduled to be in this heat race. Ten laps, Rod Conley, winner. Thursday night of us, Kingham County. Brings the field off the fourth turn. Rick Eckert in the Ray Vest excavating 24 will take the lead into turn one. Conley is second, Shaver third, Bill Nepper fourth. continues to lead in that Rayburn chassis. Conley second. Shaver last night's winner. Still third.
Glover with a problem in the 9C car coming off the fourth turn. He'll drop to the back of the field. Fathead Saloon 9C. It's still the Ray Best excavating 24. Rick Eckert, fourth in the Stars point standings, leading the way. Rod Conley second, and Steve Shaver third. Bill Nepper fourth, Ben Bellich fifth, Jim Zarin sixth, Mark Petrucci seventh, Matt Sherlock eighth, and Brian During and Doug Crawford. to go, four laps to go. Ecker turning that lap at here at Pittsburgh, AM 530 on the Speedway grounds. We're back up to speed. Three laps to the finish. Rick Eckert's been your leader from the start. Here they come off the fourth turn. As the shadows start to take over the Speedway, we're about a half under shadows now. So the sun's still brightly shining in turns three and four, though. Two to go. Rick Eckert. Looking for his first Stars win this year. The Ray Best excavating 24 leads this third heat race with one lap to go. fourth turn, Eckert will be your winner. Rod Conley second, and Steve Shaver third. Those three cars move in to the A-Main. Bill Nepper, Ben Bellich, Jim Zarin, Mark Petrucci, Matt Sherlock, and Doug Crawford ride out the field. The racing cams fast dash for our top six qualifiers. Here they come into turn number four. Off the fourth turn, the green is out. Some contact, Stuller and Pencil. And they scatter into turn one. Down the back stretch, Stuller leading, Pencil second, Mike Johnson in the two, Jay in the four, Ben Faree side by side for third. Malput running fifth. Faree now to the outside. Johnson stays down low in the 2J, and Pencil runs the middle in the 14. Pencil slides up in front of Faree, and Johnson now trying to take second. Faree trying to follow him down the back straightaway. Into three. Faree slides up in front of Jack Pencil. Pencil tries to get back underneath him off the fourth turn, and will do it. Into one. Out in front, it's Gary Stuller. Mike Johnson is second. Jack Pencil and Ed Faree are side by side for third in a turn number three. Faree able to make the pass coming off of four. Now put running fifth. Hartley is sixth. Then Elson and Mason. Mason started last. To work his way up into the uh, contention here. Racing John Mason in car 72 has a long way to go. Six laps to go for race leader Gary Stuller out of Greencastle, Pennsylvania. Trying to work.
mark underneath the 14 of Jack Pencil for fourth. Mike Johnson by himself in second and Faree with plenty of daylight in third. Two to go. Malquit now closing in. B.A. Malquit in car 79 starting to reel in Ed Faree for that third and final transfer spot. One more lap to go. One to go. Look at Malquit closing on Faree here. Final transfer spot. Mike Johnson second, and Malqua trying to take third away. Down the backstretch, it's still free in the final transfer spot. Stuller slowing down, it appears, but he's got enough for the win. Johnson will get second, and Ed Free will hold on for third in car four. B.A. Malquit fourth, Pencil fifth, Hartley sixth, Mason comes to seventh, then it's Elson, Johnny Johnson, Mark Osborne, and Mike Benito. Jack Boggs in the B4, 68, 66, Rodney Combs, 29, Daryl Lanigan. T8, Mark Bernal, 15, Steve Francis in the 68 of Tim Hitt. Here they come into turn number four. Jack Boggs, former winner of the Penn National 100. The green is out and they're three wide, going into turn number one for the lead. Rodney Combs, Jack Boggs, and Daryl Lanigan. Boggs escapes with the lead into turn two. Lanigan a close second. Combs is third, France is fourth, and hit and Bernal racing for fifth and sixth. Darrell Lanigan in car 29 off the inside as Tim Hit makes a sweet move for fourth. The box is still leading. Darrell Lanigan runs second. And it's Rodney Combs and Tim Hit, Steve Francis, and Mark Bernal running sixth right now. Bernal and Steve Francis swap in that fifth and sixth spot. Bernal passes Francis back in turn two, and Francis gets a run at Bernal down the backstretch. Jack Boggs leading. Daryl Lanigan in hot pursuit at the halfway point. It's the team cars of Rodney Combs and Tim Hitt, third and fourth. Bernal fifth and Francis sixth. Lanigan right there, glued to Jack Boggs' bumper into turn three. Off of four. 20.93 that lap for Jack Boggs, 20.93. Side by side for third, Timmy Hitt and Rodney Combs. Combs holds him off down the backstretch. One more lap to go this time by, one lap to go. Jack Boggs, Darrell Lanigan knocking at the door on the inside as they head into turn one. And Combs continue to go at it. Hit down low. Combs up high as Lanigan puts the pressure on Boggs into three. The winner will start on the pole. Here they come off of four. Lanigan and Boggs, wheel to wheel, coming at you down the front straight away. It'll be Jack Boggs. And Rodney Combs edges Tim Hit for third. Have two Pro Shocks B mains coming up with the top two finishers advancing into tonight's Penn National 100. Real quick, Jeff Pennington is standing by down there with the, uh, the veteran from Grayson, Kentucky, who always goes fast at Pittsburgh. Jeff? Jack, Jack that was pretty good. Let's move on 
Seven, Dwayne Popham. The five of Kirk Young. Jim Lepro in the six car. 76, Dave Wade. Jason Sisson in the 20C. Mark Motes in the 48. He's been the hot shoe with four feature wins this year. Three, J. Joe Johnson. The one of Jeff Metzger. Art Dermott in the 19. And Jim Paul in car 44. Off the fourth turn, the green is out. Charlie Jasinski is your leader. Wayne Gaither in the four second. And Kirk Young in the five and the seven of Dwayne Popham. Young slaps the outside wall in turn four. Green is out as they race off the fourth turn. Charlie Jasinski leads them into turn number one. Wayne Gaither in the four, the six is Jim Lepro, 76, Dave Wade, seven, Dwayne Popham, the 20 C of Jason Sisson. in the seven car now trying to get back and he'll do make that pass for fourth in the Remax Real Estate Medical Center Brace 7. Jason Sisson in the 20 also putting the heat on the 76 of Dave Wade for fifth. opening up a nice lead here with seven laps down and 13 to go. The Don Speed Shop, 11A. The Joe Dickey Electric 4, Wayne Gaither still second. The Buds Play 6 of Jim Lepro third. And the Remax Real Estate Medical Center Brace 7 of Dwayne Poffel, a close, close fourth. Jail Braze of Construction, Steel Auto Body 20 of Jason Sisson running in the fifth spot. Mark Boats is sixth. Dave Wade has dropped a seventh. And it's the one of Jeff Metzger, the 3J of Joe Johnson, 44, Jim Paul, and Artie Durbin in the 19. Mark Motes in car 48 now to the inside, challenging Jason Sisson in car 20 for fifth. And Dwayne Popham trying to pick up another spot in the seven car. And Jim Lepro racing hard into turn three as we come to the halfway point for the m -Stall Limited Late Models. Ten more laps to go. Ten laps to go.
continues for third. Lap after lap, six Jim Lepro and seven Dwayne Popham. Lepro now a car length advantage, two car lengths, three car lengths over Popham down the back stretch. laps to go, six laps to the finish. And Jasinski has opened up a straightaway lead, Charlie J. Hasn't had the best of luck in 1997, maybe it's about to change with five laps to go, Mark Motes up another spot. He's to fourth in car 48. Moats into 48 now. Challenging Jim Lepro for third in a turn three. He'll make that pass off the fourth turn. Less than three laps to go, less than three laps to go. Mark Motes in the 48 car making a late race charge. He's now to second. Two laps to go. Jasinski trying to lap the 19 of Artie Dermott. Still leading by about a half a straightaway over Mark Motes. The Don Speed Shop. Charlie's service, number 11A, takes the white flag, one lap remaining. For his first win of the season, he brings the 11A through turns three and four. Charlie Jasinski out of Struthers, Ohio, your M Stall Limited Late Model winner. Mark Motes in the 48th second, Wayne Gaither third, Dwayne Poffel fourth, and fifth to sixth of Jim Lepro. Hard charger in that feature. And Charlie Jasinski, your M Stall Limited Late Model winner. Charlie, that was a pretty good run there. Tell us a little about it. Well, it's been about two years coming, and we 
finally got this car hooked up. Brad Hibbert, my crew chief, just we've been changing angles on these bars, on these master belts, and we've been changing our grooves and the tires. We've just been doing everything. We've been hitting and missing. We've spent a lot of money and crashed a lot, and I'm just tickled pink, and I wish my daughter and son were here. They were here last week. It was close, but it wasn't a cigar. But I'm just happy. Thank you, people, for coming. And it just was a good race. How about your sponsors? Have any sponsors you'd like to thank? Boardman Engine Service, Dawn Speed Shop and Boardman, my own garage, Charlie Service, Loge Signs, who donates the signs, and with Brad and Karen and Cindy, and that's all I need. You know, I, I love them all. We're like one family. We're not really a... We're just try like hell. Thank you. Let's give a nice hand, folks. Charlie Jasinski. Congratulations. Close 09, Mark Petrucci. The 10 of Wayne to scene 21, Matt Sherlock. 07 R, Brent Raybergen. Doug Crawford in the 9C. The 7 of Bill Adler and Ken Sheltonbrand in car 29. 15 laps the distance, 15 laps the distance. He's on the front row, Rick Wachter, Bill Nepper. They bring the field up to speed as the green drops. Rick Wachter leads, Bill Nepper is second. Both of these guys in their late model rookie seasons have had second place finishes here this year. The WR Minden Sons Custom Homes Ohio Valley Lumber 93X of Walker leading the Iron City Beer 55 of Bill Nepper with the Ken Drews Lounge 87 of Pellich third and the Cochran Automotive 1Z of Jim Zarin taking fourth now. Thomas in car 99 on the outside of Barry Bragdon down the back stretch into turn three. Thomas in the 99 moving up to fifth. Opening up a half a straightaway lead in car 93X. And Bill Nepper still second in the 55. Bellich in the 87 third. Ten laps remaining, ten to go. in the 87 trying to close in on the 55 of Bill Nepper for that second and final transfer spot as we come to the halfway point. Seven more laps to go in this first Pro Shocks B main. Starting to close in on the 55 of Bill Nepper. Five more laps to go. Five laps to go. Nepper 
first car starting to push high and high and high in fourth turn, just like last Saturday night. When he led 23 laps of the feature. Well, it's closing in now, just two car lengths behind. Bill Nepper. Three laps to go, three laps to the finish. Wachter by himself with the W.R. Minden Sons, Custom Homes, Ohio Valley Lumber, 93X. He takes the two lap to go sign. Nepper up high in turn two. Village closing in another time down the back stretch. One more lap to go, one to go. Rick Wachter about to start lapping cars here on the final lap. With a big lead, no need to be in a hurry. He's got a straightaway advantage. Bill Nepper right now opening up some more daylight over Ben Village for second. Pro Shocks B main winner will be Rick Wachter. Bill Nepper advances by finishing second. Then Bellich comes up one car short in third. Then Jim Zare in fourth, Barry Bragg in fifth. Flanked by the 16 of Kurt Habedell. Will be the 20 of Logan Dernoshik, then the 11 of Pete Loria, 04 Jim Plants, 17 Russ Matika, 83 Robert Freshour, 67 of Bobby Bongiorni, and the 91 of Tommy Beck. That's ready to go. York got modified. 15 lap feature. The green is out. by the luck of the draw starting on the pole tonight and uh, that's a big big disadvantage to the rest of the York Cup modified because he has been almost unbeatable this year here at Pittsburgh he's got five wins coming into tonight Kurt Habedell runs second Wayne to is third Pete Laurie a fourth and Logan Dernoshik fifth in the number 20 car Contracting zero of Larry Kugel leading the high song Sitco Browns Auto Salvage 16 of Kurt Habedell. The cost lettering and graphics 10 of Wayne Tassine and the Quaker Stake and Lube 11A of Pittsburgh Pete Loria followed by the Sabre Equipment 20 of Logan Dernoshik. Laps to go, 10 to go. loses the motor in the 16. Everybody gets by so far. 
Caution is out. Six laps down, nine laps to go. The York Out Modified feature event. Larry Kugel, Maurice starting on the outside. He jumps on the gas, the green comes out. Bobby Bongiorni spinning around between the first and second turns. And he'll turn around and keep going. The green stays out. Pittsburgh Pete Laurie now the Quaker Stake in lieu of 11. Trying to challenge the 10 of Wayne to seen here for second. Meantime, the Sabre Equipment 20 of Logan Dernoshik. Right underneath Glory there in the second turn for, th for uh, third. And Robert Freshaw runs a close fifth in car 83. Five laps to go. Five laps to the finish. in car 67. Three laps to go this time by Pete Laurie in the 11. Again down low, Pittsburgh Pete. Put the pressure on the 10 of Wayne to seen for second. up a little high and here comes Lori another time. Two laps to the finish. Larry Kugel way out in front here looking for his sixth win of the season in the Penfield contracting number zero. Final lap. Fourth turn, six win of 97 for Larry Kugel. Wayne Tassin second, Pete Loria third, Logan Dernoshik fourth, and Robert Freshour fifth. Kicks up a case of Wolf's Head from Monarch Oil, the world's largest Wolf's Head distributor. around the front of the car. How about a nice hand for your York Out Modified winner for the sixth time this year, Larry Kugel.
really nice run for you there tonight, number six. Yeah. We'll try this again here. Pretty good win for you tonight, number six. Uh, we pulled straight up Bill. It's not as much fun starting up there, and it's not as much fun for the fans, but it sure is easier on me. Congratulations on a great win. Thanks. I'd like to thank my sponsors, Penfield Construction and uh, uh, Cook and Kell Engines down in Chester. Uh, they're just uh, in uh, Pit Stop Pizza down in New Cumberland. They're just, without them, we can't do this stuff. Let's give a nice hand, folks. Larry Kugel. Team Jack Pencil, 5 Belmanic Jr., 32 Scott Hartley, 84 Steve Baker, 72 John Mason, 99 Ben Miley, 17 Lance Elson, 8 Dennis Curry, 48 Johnny Johnson, 13 Jim Mazur, 4 Mark Osborne, 28 B Dick Barton, and the 25 of Mike Benedum. Here they come off of four, the green is out. Belmanic with a problem on the start, Nick, check that, it's a false start, false start. Row, Dodd in the 12, Malkwood in the 79. On the speed off the fourth turn, the green is out. Oh, they're rubbing wheels into turn one. Malkwood on the outside, takes the lead. Rich Curry in the three, trying to escape the second turn with second. He'll make the pass. Minnick comes shooting through there, trying to get up into fourth as Pencil rolls to third in the 14. Jack Pencil now, underneath the three of Rich Curry, trying to take second. B.A. Malquit. Pulling away real quick like. Rich Curry still second, Pencil third. Dodd fourth, Minnick in the five, working the inside, trying to chase down Doug Dodd for that four spot. Mason is six and Baker runs seventh. Minnick Jr. up into fourth, now trying to take third. He's got the uh, budget rent car five working on the inside. Melkwood turning that lap at 21-1-3, 21.13. Minnick got loose coming off of four that time, and Dodd gets back by him for fourth. Buick GMC three of Rich Curry by himself in second. Racing John Mason now at car 72. Takes over fifth. and second right now. Barring a caution, it'd be hard for anyone to track down the front two cars. The lead they've built up. John Mason continues to work Doug Dodd. Down the back stretch, they're side by side, running for fourth into turn three. Racing John Mason up to fourth in the 72. Contact coming off of four, they separate. 
Hensel is erased on that one. Caution is out. Got a bumper in the ra on the racetrack. The green is out. Here comes racing John Mason. The man from Millersburg on a mission here in the Pro Shocks B-Main. Will to will for that second spot down the back straightaway. Curry still second, Mason is third, into three. Doug Dodd running fourth. He's up a little high in turn two. Racing John getting underneath him off the corner down the back stretch into three. They are even up into turn three. Curry up a little high coming off of four. He's got the momentum though. He's still second with Mason third. Three laps to go. Rich Curry trying to make his first Penn National 100 in the Crown Buick GMC three. Former Stars champion racing John Mason with other ideas. We've got two laps to go, two to go. Malkwood has raced away again with a big lead in the Malkwood Racing Engine 79. Final lap. Rich Curry hold off racing John Mason. In turn number two, Mason again closing ground. Down the back stretch though, it's Curry building up another car length advantage. Here they come into three and four. Mason let it all hang out in turn four. Coming off the fourth turn, it's gonna be racing John Mason making the pass. Rick Heim, 25, Lindo Brzezelski, the five of Frank Schneider, Jr. Two, Ralph Heisong, Jr., 21, Joe Vaca, last week's winner. 38, Jim Steffens, 55, Willie White, 12, Bob Damron, the 11 of Charlie DiLoretto, Danny Rich in the 67X, Frank Schneider, Sr. in the 56, and Dave Cook in car 20. Come off a fourth turn. Mike Sasir in the 35. Rick Heim in the 29. Bring the field up to speed. There's a Resco Equipment Spectator Stocks. and the Lowry's Run Automotive 29 is your leader. Frank Schneider Jr. in the five second. Mike Sassier's 35. Third on the outside of Sassier is the 21 of Jumpin' Joe Vaca. Ian Sassier, wheel to wheel with a turn three. Willie White in the 55, moving up into fifth. Brzezelski taking over fifth in car 25. Got a spin up in turn four. The 20 of Dave Cook. He turns back around. The green stays out. Brzezelski now going for fourth on the outside in turn three. He and Mike Sassier in the 35. Man, they're wheel to wheel, side to side. Sasir holds him off for fourth. Sasir 
pushes high in two, and Dobrzelski dives underneath him. Again, make it stick down the back stretch. Still Rick Heim, your leader, in the Lowry's run on a mode of 29. Schneider trucking five of Frank Schneider's second. In the Barker's machine shop, K and B design, 21 of Joe Back at third. Fourth is the Allegheny alignment, 35 of Mike Sasir. The home renovations, 25 of Lendo Brzezelski, fifth, and again pressuring Sasir for fourth. Len will dive low, slingshotting off the second turn. There, will to will down the back stretch into three. And look at old Willie White going at it on the outside in car 55. Bill Vrishelski pushes up. Willie gives him a love tap to straighten it back out. And the battle continues. Seven down, eight to go. Frank Schneider Jr. in the five now, trying to draw a little closer to the 29 of Rick Hine. Frank Schneider Jr. and Joe Vaca. Six laps to go. Dobrzelski bobbles in the second turn, but he's still fourth down the backstretch. And the 35 of Mike Sasir passing the 55 of Willie White for fifth. laps to the finish, five to go. Senior off the pace here in car 56. As Rick Heim has opened up a comfortable advantage again in the Lowry's run on a road of 29. to go, two to go. Heim is up high in turn four. Rick Heim holds on. One lap to go. In the wall here, the 11 of Charlie De Loretta. The caution is out here on the final lap. We must run two consecutive green. Back up to speed. We got a crash here coming off of four. Look out. Bob Damron in the 12, bouncing around there. Two 
laps to go. We're back up to speed. Rick Heim leading Frank Schneider second, and Mr. Excitement, Joe Vack in third. Jim Steffens fourth, two of Ralph Hysong Jr. is fifth. One more lap to go, one lap remaining. Final lap, here they come. Rick Heim, 29, five, Frank Schneider, Jr., 21, Joe Vaca, all have tasted victory lane so far this year. It'll be Heim winning tonight over Schneider, Vaca, Jim Steffens, and Ralph Hysong Jr. Look out here. Yes. Charlie DiLoretto by a back bumper. Hard luck award, so to speak, after getting edged out by John Mason on the final turn there for the final transfer spot into the Knights Penn National 100. So Rich Curry, the Crown Buick GMC3, will pick up a $100 bonus tonight from number one Cochran Automotive. Moving into the lineup area, it'll just be a matter of minutes before we turn them loose. 26 cars, 100 laps, the fourth annual Penn National 100. 10,000 big ones await the winner. Two. All right, folks. What the hell do you want me over here? All right, over here. Or, I'll come over here. All right, let's try this again. Rick, it's a pretty nice run there. Uh, any uh, second thoughts on that last restart? No, nah, that was a, it was a good race. Uh, it was fun. The track is really good this week compared to what it was last week. It was really bad last week. It makes for a lot better racing. Yeah, second win of the year. It's got to feel uh, pretty good for you. Yeah, it feels great. I can't describe it. Go there, 50 50. All right, if you would, Rick, please. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main. in the B4, Darrell landing in the 29, your front row, 100 laps. Coming into turn four and a good pace, the green is out and the Penn National 100 is underway. getting a flying start in car 75. He's already up into the fifth, now fourth spot in turn four. Lanigan is your leader, Boggs second, hit runs third. Bart Hartman in car 75. Challenging Tim Hinton and making the pass for third off the fourth turn. The Bart man, who started seventh, has picked up four spots in just two laps. Lanigan races off to a big lead in car 29. Into one. Boggs trying to squeeze down low as Hartman tries to get by on the inside. Hit still fourth, but now is fifth. Francis running sixth. Combs and Eckert battling for seventh. Andrews and Suler complete the top ten. Bart 
Gary Hartman trying to pressure Jack Boggs for second into turn three. They're side by side. Off of four. Will to will for that second spot with five laps down. Bart Hartman now making the clean pass into second. The Hartman Truck Center 75. Darrell Lanigan still your leader. shrinking as Bart Hartman tries to track him down. Still a straightaway till they run into lap traffic. Rick Ecker trying to pick up another spot in car 24. up into sixth in car 24. Francis drops to seventh. Holmes is eighth, store ninth, and Andrews runs tenth as Bart Hartman continues to close in on Darrell Lanigan for the lead with ten laps complete. Ten laps are down. Now just a car length behind Lanigan as they approach the 25 of Mike Benito. Coming off of four. Into turn number one. Hartman went out on the inside of the racetrack, trying to pull alongside of Lanigan down the back stretch. Into three. Contact between the front two cars, they separate. It's still landing in in front, Hartman second. Boggs third. It runs fourth, but now is fifth. Davey Johnson off the pace in the 1J. Johnson headed for the pits. in car 19. He's now seventh. And Hartman has got the lead by a nose in turn four. The Bart man, Bart Hartman, has got the lead completing lap number 15. Rick Ecker continues to hound Mark Pinnell for fifth. 24 and T8 racing in turn two. Bill Nepper now between first and second, and Boggs looks like he's starting to close back in on the front two in the B4. Johnson close to the wall in car 48, right in front of race leader Bart Hartman. Johnson, the next car to be lapped in turn three. Hartman has opened up almost a half a straightaway on Lanigan. Box still third, hit fourth. 
Bunnell in the tee, eight, fifth, Eckert six, Dooler seventh, Francis eight, Combs ninth, and Todd Andrews runs ten. this time by, lap 20 this time by. Todd Andrews and Rodney Combs running hard for ninth and 10th in turns one and two, 42 and 66. Turning that lap at 21 1 3. The track's still pretty consistent. That's about the same lap time they were running in the heats in the B mains. Don Andrews has passed Rodney Combs and moved to ninth. moves to fifth, passing the T8 of Mark Bunnell. 48, Johnny Johnson heading to the pits. Bart Hartman's lead is now almost a full straightaway over the 29 of Darrell Lanigan. B4, Jack Boggs running third. 68, Tim hit fourth to 24, Rick Eckert fifth, now Gary Stuller in car 19, pressuring the T8 of Mark Bennell for six, they're side by side, coming off of four, Stuller makes the pass, Stuller to six, Bennell is seventh, Francis eighth, Andrews ninth, and Combs still runs tenth, just 14 cars on the lead lap, with 25 laps, 26 laps complete, a quarter of the way home, and only 14 cars on the lead lap. Rick 
Decker now in car 24. Little Will with the 68 of Jimmy Hit. Eckert moves up another spot. He's up to fourth. Into the 68, back to fifth. Stuhler a close sixth in car 19. Bart Hartman trying to lap last night's winner, Steve Shaver.
trying to lap the 10th place car of Rodney Combs, coming off at turn four, completing lap 48. Combs keeps him at bay. Got to stay on that lead lap to have a chance in the second 50. One more lap to the halfway point. Bart Hartman noses ahead of Rodney Combs to put him a lap down. Rick Eckert in the 24 moves to third, dropping the 29 of Darrell Lanning into fourth. Bart Hartman completing lap 50. Halfway, Bart Hartman is your leader. Boggs is second. Eckert is third. Landing in fourth. Stuhler fifth. Hit sixth. Pinal seventh. Francis eighth. And Andrews ninth. All on the lead lap. Caution is out for the fuel stop here on the front stretch. for his third win this season on the Stars by Arizona Racing Series is definitely uh, the man to beat. No doubt about that. They get to the cone on the back straight. We go, and away we go. in front of him. 
Art Hartman now leading by a half a track, more than a half a track. Todd Andrews, leaving
between the T8 of Mark Pinnell, the sixth place car, next in line. And Eckert has really left Boggs and Stuhler. Andrews trying to unlap himself to the outside of Hartman, off at two. And Hartman instead about to lap the T8 of Mark Pinnell. side, Bart Hartman in the sixth place car, the T8 of Mark Pinnell. Hartman now forges by him, leaving just five cars on the lead lap. With 25 laps to go, 25 laps to go in the Penn National 100. Todd Andrews by the T8 of Mark Pinnell and into sixth. 42, Todd Andrews up into six, dropping the T8 of Pinnell to seven. Hit into the 68 is eighth, and Francis into 15 is ninth. Rodney Combs still 10th in car 66. the B4 Jack Boggs for third. In turn two, Stuhler coming off the bottom, trying to pull alongside of Boggs for third into turn number three. Two former Penn National winners side by side for third. Coming off of four. Still Boggs in third, Stuhler fourth, landing in his fifth, the last car on the lead lap. Stuller and Boggs waging war another time off the two down the back stretch. And Gary Stuller makes the pass for third. Twenty laps to go. Twenty laps to go in the Penn National 100. to go. 
go, 15 laps remaining. Diving underneath Jack Boggs in turn two. And we'll lap him. Just three cars on the lead lap. complete. The Harvard Truck Center, 75. Just a straightaway behind the second place car of Rick Eckert. It's been
in a dominating performance here tonight. For the man from Zanesville, Ohio, one more lap. Into turn number three. His third Stars win of 1997, his first win at Pittsburgh's Pennsylvania Motor Speedway in dominating fashion, Bart Hartman wins the Penn National 100, lapping all but the second place car of Rick Eckert. Eckert now coming through turns three and four. was second, Gary Stuller third, Jack Boggs fourth, Darrell Lanigan fifth, and Todd Andrews, Mark Pinnell, Tim Hitt, Steve Francis, and Rodney Combs. He's signing autographs three weeks from the night, bike races for the kids. That Masters built chassis. The Grand Prix body driving it into the corners. Started seventh and took the lead on the 15th lap. At less than a half or less than a straightaway behind the second place car of Rick Eckert, leaving only one other car on the lead lap. He's had some big wins in his short career, but I don't know that any were as impressive or by such a big margin as this one tonight. He deserves a big hand. How about it for Bart Hartman? Tell you what, we got one happy bunch down here, Bart. Uh, I talked to you at the intermission, and uh, one of the things I asked you was about that right rear tire, and you just looked at me and said, well, "I don't know," but I think it was okay. 
Yeah, it was fine. It it worked all right. <laughs> <laughs> what a what an awesome display out there. The car had to feel perfect. Yeah, it was it was better the second half than it was the first half. And uh, unfortunately, we lost our radios, and I couldn't get any lap times. And he didn't tell me where everybody was running, so we just run the line, and I run consistent as I could. And then I saw Rick up there, and I thought, no, wait, he's in second. So uh, <laughs> I thought we must have been pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty decent. You know something else too, when you get this caliber out here and uh, as good a condition as the track what is to in, in tonight it's got to be a credit to the sport without having absolutely no cautions at all yeah I mean the fans got to see one heck of a race you know the stars organization and then like you said the caliber of drivers we didn't have any incidences and everybody raced good and we, everybody had a hell of a race that's good it's got to be a, a feather in your cap for you here tonight well it's the first race I've ever won here at Pittsburgh and Jimmy Fry's from Pittsburgh here and it's his first race ever and he's been in the sport for almost 11 years and Kale Berry and my brother Brett building a super power plant and it just performed well all week. Well the question I'm sure everybody's got to be wondering uh, does this uh, give you a little bit of momentum coming into the Pittsburgher? Well I hope I've always felt a little short on that one but uh, when it comes around I hope we'll be there. Well congratulations on a great race. Thank you. Folks let's give a nice hand. Bart Hartman your 1997 winner of the Penn National 100. Let me give you the complete rundown. 75, Bart Hartman, 24, Rick Eckert, 19, Gary Stuller, B4, Jack Boggs, 29, Daryl Lanigan, 42, Todd Andrews, T8, Mark Bernal, 68, Tim Hitt, 15, Steve Francis, 10th to 66 of uh, Rodney Combs, 2nd 10, E1, Mike Balzano, 71R, Rod Conley, 72, John Mason, 30, Steve Shaver, 2J, Mike Johnson, 79, B.A. Malquit, Star 1, Chubb Frank, 1C of Lynn Geisler, 77, Barry Bragdon, and the 93X of Rick Wachter. Steve Baker in the 84 was 21st, and the 55 of Bill Nepper, the 25 of Mike Benedum, the 48 of Johnny Johnson, the 4 of Ed Faree, and the 1J of Davey Johnson. That will do it for the fourth annual Penn National 100. Again, we hope you enjoyed the show. We thank you all for coming out. We invite you to come back and see us again racing every Saturday night. And, of course, don't forget the big Pittsburgher coming up September 19th, 20th, and 21st.